بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد علماء اكسبلين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم daily and every rak'at of salah the greatest need of man is hidayah and that hidayah which we ask for is sirat alladheena namta alayhim Oh Allah, grant us the hidayah of those who you have favored. Some Mufassirin commentators explain that after that Allah gives tafsil and detail whom are the people who Allah has favored. Alif Lam Mim, Zalik Al Kitab La Rayb Fi, Hudal Lil Muttaqin, Al Ladina Yuminun Bil Rayb. So the first quality of the people whom Allah has favored the muttaqin is they bring iman in the ghaib dan sin. So ulama explain jo mushahada whatever we are seeing whatever we are witnessing we need to be like that. And whatever we don't see we need to believe in that. So whatever our eyes are telling us what our ears are hearing whatever is the appearance we need to be like that and whatever is unseen we need to believe in that alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaib that's why he said about Hazrat Ali radiyallahu anhu he should say law kushifat al ghaifa masdatu yaqina that if the parda of jannat and jahannam were opened up my yaqeen would have not increased if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed me jannah the palaces of jannah the fountains of jannah the streams of jannah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed me jahannam the fire of jahannam the punishment of jahannam my yaqeen in allah would have not increased That was the iman of sahaba that's how much yaqeen they had in allah so one is asbab yaqeen and one is asbab ghair yaqeen when man makes effort on asbab ghair yaqeen which is not 100% sure it is not definite asbab yaqeen is sure this is a system this is a sunnah of allah those are asbab yaqeen what allah says is true what my nabi says is true everything else is a lie everything else is a lie when buzruk was reading a newspaper he went to one place and he took a newspaper and he was going through it so somebody asked him what you doing he said me jhoot me se kuch sach talash kar raha hu in lies i am looking for some truth what the media is telling you what governments are telling you what the world is telling you is a lie what allah and his rasul is telling you is the truth somebody was it mona elias lalay and they were discussing something and he said he fucking say yahua coincidentally this happened mona elias says tune kya kaha because ittifaq and say yahua that it was coincidence it was just it just happened sometimes people say this luckily i was so lucky i was so lucky to say that said to me kya ka what did you say this word is not in the words in the vocabulary of a believer everything for a believer is taqdeer nothing is a coincidence nothing is a coincidence and when the yaqeen is passed it spoils when the yaqeen is corrupt it spoils dunya and akhirah not only akhirah yaqeen of dunya the yaqeen of amassing wealth the yaqeen that things of the world do a father who 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 bought a brand new car he bought his brand, brand new mercedes benz So he drove it around the town so everybody can see him then he parked it on, on the driveway when he just came to his house so that everybody that outside can see that he bought he bought his brand new mercedes benz he took delivery of the vehicle 
It's brand new. He went into the house to call his wife to surprise her for his brand new car. His innocent young daughter was outside playing. She seen a nail, and children generally like drawing. They scribble on the walls, they scribble everywhere, they scribble on their hands. So she started scribbling with the nail on the father's car. When he came outside with his wife, and he seen his brand new Mercedes Benz scratch, he became infuriated. And in that rage and anger, he took that nail. What did you do to my car? And he started poking his daughter with that nail, and he injured her. After he realized what he had done wrong, and the wife stopped him, it was too late. He had to call the ambulance. She was rushed to hospital. Doctor said that the nail was infected. Her hand had to be amputated, and she was put in theater. After the operation was over, the parents came to meet their daughter. And on her first gaze at her father, she said, Daddy, Daddy, give me my hand back. Daddy, Daddy. Give me my hand back. I won't scratch your car again. He said that father became insane and he committed suicide. Those words were too heavy for him to handle after that. When this yaqeen is passed, we destroy our dunya, we destroy our akhirat. And that's why we have to be careful. We have to speak so much about Allah, so much about His Nabi, that we don't get affected by this dunya. See, there was once uh, some thieves, and they decided they wanted to rob a certain person. So they said, this person is going to buy. They knew he was a connoisseur in purchasing animals. There was a rare animal that was going to be purchased in the market. So word got out that he won the auction and he got that animal. So they made a plan to steal it from him. So as he was going back home with his uh, bull, they said, uh, first thief came and said, Oh, mashallah, I heard the good news that you bought a very expensive donkey. He looked confused. He said, can't you see? This is not a donkey. He said, full. He said, yeah, he laughed. And he walked away. As he carried on on the road, the second thief came in. He said, wow, wow. What a beautiful donkey you got. He stammered and said, this, 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 is, this is a bull. The person laughed it off and said, yeah. Who are you kidding? When he got to the third thief, and the third thief had the same sentiments, what a wonderful donkey. That man got upset and frustrated because he thought so he was scorned. He said, take this donkey, go, just take it. So he heard in so much propaganda, so much, that the people of Iman are in doubt. We have this doubt and we have shak Shut in the right dancing and yaqeen in the sin. Well, a sahaba had yaqeen in the unseen and shut in the sin. Whatever my eyes are telling me, I can't believe it. It may be lying, but the words of Allah cannot be a lie. Hazrat Khuzayma radiallahu anhu, when a Jew asked the Nabi of Allah for a witness, he was a witness. So Nabi alayhi salam says that, I had given you the amount and the sum that you needed to be given. So he said, bring a witness. So Hazrat Khuzayma radiallahu anhu was a witness. So when Nabi asked him, 
afterwards that you were not present on that occasion. He said, Oh, Nabi Allah, we believe you in things of the unseen. How can we not believe you in matters like this? So he was given the name of the one of two shahadats where his testimony will be of two people instead of one. So Sahaba believed and he had yaqeen in the unseen and they belied the sin. In one country, a king had an issue, his nose had to be amputated. So when people seen him after that, people used to laugh at him because he looked very funny. So he passed a royal decree that everybody, all people in the kingdom, their nose needs to be amputated. So eventually everybody in the kingdom had no nose. So it so happened one day that a traveler was traveling in that country. And wherever he traveled, everybody laughed at him. Look, he looks so funny, he looks so abnormal. There's something on his face. So, so Ba'atil has spoken so much about Allah, spoken so much about the power of dunya, spoken so much about the power of makhluk, that now even the people of Iman believe it. And when the people of Deen speak about Allah, speak about the Rasul of Allah, then we think it funny and we laugh. What you talking about? What you saying? Scientists have said this, doctors have said this, professionals have said this, research proof this, this theory is based on this theory, this is Einstein theory, this is what the world is saying. We look down and we start laughing at the kalam of Allah, at the kalam of Rasul of Allah, because our yaqeen is weak. Logic, intelligence, Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu used to say, Illa wa kana deen bin rai. Deen's got nothing to do with opinions. If you think so, deen was logic and intelligence, then la kana asfal al khuf awla bil mas min ala. Then we should have been making masa under the moza, under the khuf, the leather sock, instead of on top. Because when you walk, dirt comes at the bottom, not on top, there is no, no logic. We have to hand our intelligence over to Allah and His Rasul. Lo logic tells you water drowns. But for the Bani Israel, the water didn't drown them. Actually, water made way for them. Water drowns Sahaba in one of the battles went with their horses. Samayna. We took the name of Allah. Waqtahamna. And we crossed. Wa ma bal al ma khifafu wa ma bal al ma khifafu ibilina. That the water didn't even touch the hooves of our horses. Logic tells you wind can destroy. Wind can do this, wind can do that. But wind was subservient to Sulaiman Logic tells you fire burns. But the best days of Ibrahim was when he was in the fire. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Amma ilayka fala. Logic, intelligence tells you, I'm going in the fire, I'm going to be burned, I'm going to be destroyed. But Allah controls the fire, Allah controls the wind, Allah controls the water. The knife cuts. Ibrahim alayhi salam put the knife on his throat, Ismail alayhi salam. The knife didn't cut. Logic tells you that time does not stop. Time carries on. But for the people of the cave, Allah froze their bodies. Allah froze time for them. 300 years. Allah froze time. Uzair alayhi salam, time froze for him. 
كالذي مر على قرية وهي خاوية على عروشها صلى الله سبحانه وتعالى فأماته الله مئة عام ثم بعثه الله رزقت ريم أفتح يهان رجاز قال كم لبث قال لبثت يوما أو بعض يوم يهان رجاز وزيك دي what is part of a day you are still no بل لبثت مئة عام a hundred years has passed and فانظر إلى طعمك وشرابك لم يتسنه that look at your food food should have decomposed it should have gotten rotten but that did not happen so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala froze time if we need food to survive then for 40 days Yunus alayhi salam was in the stomach of a fish how did he survive? There's no fridges, no import, no export, no online ordering, no system, but the system of Allah. Bani Israel, وَانزَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَنَّ وَالسَّلْوَى Allah sent food from the heavens. So we say, we don't have food, you will die. Then history shows. That Allah provided for them. Maryam radiallahu anha, when Hazrat Zakaria alayhi salam used to come to her, you say, Anna laki hadha, where has this come from? Because fruits that were out of season, she was having it in front of her. There was no way, there was no systems in place, not even in the local area where those fruits found. Means fruits from other countries, Roots that didn't, were not even prevalent in that country, she had it by and she was consuming it. If we say a person is old, a lady is barren, she cannot give birth. Munalika da'a Zakaria Rabba. Some ulama say he was 70 years, 90 years, 92 years, 120 years. But he made dua from a barren woman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought a child. So our logic tells us that these things do, the world does, this has power, none of this has power except Allah. Everything is in the control of Allah and we need to hand our matters over to Allah. We need to hand all our matters to Allah. Because all power, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَمْرِ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَمِنْ بَعْدُ From the beginning, everything was in the control of Allah. To the end, everything is in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we need to have that yaqeen. We need to have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this, we need to speak about the greatness of Allah. We need to speak about our Allah. Well, I know usually to say that you people think so. The more you go ahead of time, you go into the future, you go into the space age, you go into technology, you are progressing. Let me tell you, the more you go to the past, you are progressing. The more you go closer to the Sunnah of Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the more you are progressing. Retrogression is to go to the future and to the people of dunya. And progress is to go to the way of Allah and His Rasul. One trader who used to sell bread, the stale bread used to sell it more expensive. Somebody asked him, said, this is old bread. You're supposed to sell it cheaper. He said, this was closer to the time of my Nabi. This was closer to the time of my Nabi. That's why it's more expensive. <laughs> Somebody came to Muhammad Musa Falampuri and says, We've reached the moon. Where have you been reached? We've progressed. Where have the Muslims progressed? He said, Unfortunately, you've only reached the moon. We've reached the rob of the moon. We've reached the Khalik and the creator of the moon. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. 
of making dua for this yaqeen and speaking about the greatest of Allah. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.